Well, hey everyone and welcome from New England. We arrived in Cape Cod last night and just spent a relaxing evening settling into our hotel, we got some takeout and just kind of chilled. We'd had a long day on Sunday and so we just kind of were a little bit zapped of energy. But this morning we are out and about. Right now we're heading to Sandwich, which is a little town off the Cape that is really pretty. I actually used to come here as a kid. I lived in Massachusetts for for a few years and have some great memories of the area. So right now it is about 11 a.m. We haven't actually had breakfast yet, so we're going to get some brunch. What's the name of the bakery we're going to again? Oh, Beth's. Uh, we're going to Beth's Bakery and Cafe for breakfast. I got a recommendation from a friend that it's really tasty, so going to give that a try and then just spend a casual, relaxing day exploring Sandwich and we'll see what we get up to. Also, I am joined by Christopher on the trip. Hey everyone. So yeah, we're going to just have a really fun week, just the two of us exploring Cape Cod. It is really pretty here. The leaves are just starting to change. so. I'm just excited for all that this week has to offer. So we're about 30 minutes away from Sandwich right now, so we're going to finish the drive there, get some food, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. No, I'm just waiting for love, waiting for love. Try to forget about you makes me restless. Waiting for love, waiting for love. I don't know what else I can do. We just got some uh, breakfast slash brunch because it's like 12 p.m. now. Uh -huh. uh, what did you get, Christopher? I got a sandwich from Sandwich. <laughs> it was cranberry and turkey. I got a scone and a croissant. They were both fabulous. And now we found this like app that does a historic walking tour of some of like the older houses in Sandwich. It's supposed to be one of the oldest towns in all of Massachusetts. But yeah, we're going to do a little historic walking tour, learn about the town, some of the old buildings, and like everything here is just so pretty. So we're just going to enjoy a beautiful, if not windy day. We started our day just by walking around the town of Sandwich and I think especially because it was the off season there weren't many tourists and it was just a very quiet, quaint, and peaceful town. So we went on the walking tour and it really just shared the stories of some of the most important and noteworthy places in the town and really helped make the history of this place come alive for us. And we spent probably a couple of hours wandering around before going into this glass museum. And this ended up being a really cool museum. Apparently glass blowing and glass making was a really big part of this town's history. And so they've dedicated an entire museum to glass blowing. They had a really cool glass blowing demonstration and lots of cool exhibits all made from glass. And then after we visited the museum, we decided to explore the coastline along Sandwich. Cape Cod is really known for its beaches and coasts, so we just spent some time walking along it. And then we wrapped up our day by driving a couple miles down the road to Sandy Neck Beach, which has some incredible dunes. And here, we really just chilled and took in the scenery. By this point though, we were both fairly tired, so rather than going out to eat for dinner, we decided to stop at Trader Joe's and to pick up some foods so that we could have a little charcuterie by the beach and just enjoy the sunset. And it ended up being just such a relaxing and romantic evening, and it was a gorgeous sunset too. And honestly, I could not have asked for a better first day in Cape Cod. So it is now the next day and our big excursion of the day is that we're going to go whale watching. So we booked our tickets last night with, I think it's called Highness Whale Watching Cruises, something like that. And yeah, we just arrived at the marina. You can see all the boats behind us and hopefully we're going to get to see some 
Wales today. I think they said that the excursions are like four-ish hours long, so should be a fun time. It's supposed to rain a little bit today, but we're hoping that it holds off for the most part and that we can just enjoy some time out at sea. It is really nice outside. The weather is great right now. I think it'll get a bit more chilly once we're out on the water, so we both are wearing some layers, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I'm excited. Christopher, have you ever seen a whale before? Uh, no, I've seen a killer whale before. I've seen, I've been whale watching once before, but it was like 10 years ago. So I think it's gonna be a great time. I'm excited. And our whale watching tour began with about an hour long cruise along the coast of Cape Cod so we could get out to sea where the whales typically feed. And during the trip, it was raining on and off pretty much the entire time. But fortunately, once we actually found the whales, the weather cleared up a lot and we were really able just to enjoy the moment. And getting to see the whales up close and in their natural habitat like this was honestly such a cool and really surreal experience. Something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. So we just finished up our whale watching tour and are headed back to the car. Christopher, what did you think of it? It was awesome. Saw three different whales. Yeah. We saw two females. Those were the first two we saw. All humpback, I think. I think, yeah, all humpback. And then right at the end we saw one male and the first two we saw were literally just like chilling. They were hanging out with us. It was a great time. But then the last one we saw was a male and he was like feeding. He did this like deep dive. We got to see a cool shot of his tail. Yeah, it was really cool. Okay, so like five cars just drove past. So we paused for a second, made it back to the car, but it was really cool. We saw three different whales and uh, the first two we saw were literally just like hanging out. They were kind of enjoying the surface of the water. It was raining a little bit on and off throughout the trip, but overall we got some really good weather. It was just a really cool experience. So now though, it's about 3 p.m. and we haven't eaten since breakfast, so we're pretty hungry. So we're going to go to a place called Sir Crickets, which when I grew up, when I, my family would go to the Cape, we would always go here and it is by far my family's favorite place for fish and chips. So I think we're going to get that. That's like, what, probably just your favorite staple food? for me, yeah. <laughs> Whenever we go to a restaurant and there's fish and chips on the menu, Christopher always gets it. So I figured since we're in Cape Cod, have to go there. So we're going to grab kind of an early dinner and then just depending on the weather, I think it might rain later. So we might just have a nice evening in if it does rain, but if not, we might go to Chatham and have a great time. So we're going to head off now and we'll see what we get up to. And our meal was really good, but afterwards the weather definitely took a turn for the worse. So we spent a few minutes exploring a local windmill, but then decided to head in for the evening. Okay, it is now Wednesday morning and we woke up to just an absolutely beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees and partly cloudy. Couldn't ask for better weather. Today we're going to be spending the day in Provincetown. So right now we are on the Dune Shacks Trail, which is this really cool trail just outside of the town that takes you through these really cool sand dunes. Christopher, have you ever, have you ever seen anything like this before? No, maybe out west a little bit, but it's nothing really like cool. Sand. Yeah, so we're going to spend some time hiking this trail. We just started it. I think it's like a mile and a half long, so not too bad. And apparently there's some really cool like shacks and things like that along this trail. And then after we finish this up, we're going to spend some time exploring Provincetown, going to the Pilgrim Museum and Monument later. And yeah, it's going to be a good day. And this hike definitely ended up being a highlight of the trip for us. Not only was the hike itself absolutely stunning, but when we finally got to the ocean, there was like nobody on the beach. And so we felt like we had the whole place to ourselves. We don't need no more. So we just arrived in Provincetown. We finished up the Dune Shack Trail and it was so much fun. Just a really unique 
kind of walk hike hybrid it was really cool and just so scenic so gorgeous so had a great time doing that now our plan is to grab some lunch at the canteen which is a place in Provincetown that I'd heard really good things about so we're going to eat there and then just spend some time exploring Provincetown we have tickets to see the Pilgrim Museum and Monument at 3 30 I think so we've got a couple hours before then and we're just basically here to see the sights in Provincetown as we were driving through it looks absolutely beautiful just a really cute quaint New England town so we're just going to get out and explore <laughs> We started off our time in Provincetown just by walking down the main street section before getting lunch at the canteen. And it was a really cool restaurant concept. All of their seating was outdoors overlooking the water. It was a really cute environment and the food was spectacular too. Once we finished up our lunch, we spent some time enjoying the ocean views and then continued exploring the town. Then at around three, we walked over to the Pilgrim Monument and climbed up lots and lots of stairs to get up to one of the most incredible views of Cape Cod. There were 360 degree panoramic views in every direction and it was a really cool way just to see the whole area. And then we decided to start heading back to our hotel, but along the way, we decided to stop at the Nosset Beach Lighthouse. And it was an absolutely gorgeous area, but easily the highlight of this stop for us is that there were multiple seals just playing in the waves by the shore. And finally, we wrapped up our day by going to Rock Harbor Grill and ordering pizza. And it was really cool because you could actually watch them making it and it tasted fantastic. Well, good morning guys. We just made it to Martha's Vineyard. It's our last full day in Cape Cod, so we figured we'd spend the day on the island. We just landed. Uh, we took the ferry in this morning. Right now, we've got about half an hour to kill before we're going to do a little bus tour of the island to hopefully learn some of the history of the island, get to see some of the main sites, and I think it takes us out to the Gay Head Cliffs, I think that's what they're called, which are supposed to be just incredibly beautiful. So we're going to do that and then probably just spend the second half of our day exploring the island. I don't think I've ever been here before, so it's a first time for both of us. So we're just going to see what fun things there are to do here. Before we go on the bus tour though, I am definitely feeling some coffee. So I found a really cute little coffee shop on Yelp, or it looks cute, while we were on the ferry ride over. So we're going to go grab some coffee and then get ready for our tour to start the day off. And don't they miss the leash they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? So we made it to the cliffs. They're right behind us here. Just stopping for a few minutes to take in some beautiful views and also there's a lighthouse right over here and then I think our tour continues in a few minutes but it is just absolutely gorgeous here and yeah loving every minute. We spent most of our time just really enjoying the views of the cliffs because we didn't think we'd have time to go up close to the lighthouse, but our tour guide told us that if we ran, we could do it. And so Christopher and I did a nice brisk walk to the lighthouse and being able to see it up close was absolutely worth it. And then we hopped back on our tour bus to head back. So we just wrapped up our tour. I think it was about three hours long and it was a great way just to get a nice introduction to the island. Our tour guide was saying that the island is something like 26 miles long and you definitely got the feeling that it was just absolutely massive as we were driving around. But now what we want to do is basically just explore the town that we're in as well as the nearby town of Egerton too. Christopher is just joining me now, but I, we haven't eaten anything really at all since we got here, so our guide recommended a really great place that's supposed to have delicious clam chowder. And chowder. Chowder, <laughs> which sounds amazing to me. So I think we're going to walk over there now. It's just like a block away. So we're going to get some food and then continue seeing the sights of Martha's Vineyard. What did you think of the tour, Christopher? That was great. We learned a lot of history, um, saw some really cool bluffs, 
Um, saw a little cool lighthouse from the movie Jaws. Yeah, you'd seen Jaws before, right? Uh, I've seen parts of it. Okay. So they filmed Jaws here. And so there's like all these different like sites that you see in the movie uh, that our tour guide was pointing out. I've never actually seen the movie though. Yes. So I was like, oh yeah, uh-huh, totally. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yep. I felt like I, I should have watched Jaws in preparation for coming here. I, I feel like the island itself isn't touristy at all, but no. they're definitely, they're, they're proud of some, some Jaws attractions. You're talking about like really specific things in Jaws, and I was like, mm, I don't remember that <laughs> character's name. You like definitely that. got the feeling that our tour guide loved the movie. So. Yes. Well, yeah. he's probably seen it multiple times because right. yeah, he lives sure. here. Yeah. But yeah, we're off to get some lunch now, and yeah, I'm, I'm hungry, so it's yeah, gonna be good. Hungry. Sweet. Okay, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. And the lunch place we'd had recommended to us was called Martha's Vineyard Chowder Company. And it was really good. I love clam chowder, so I had it here, but also a handful of other times throughout the week too. Then after that, we walked just a couple blocks away to explore the gingerbread houses. It's an area with about 300 different Victorian style cottages that are all so cute, cozy, and colorful. And so we just spent a couple hours walking around and exploring the houses. If I Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. So we just finished exploring the gingerbread houses, which was so cool. It literally felt like we were in a storybook. I think originally it started out as like a campground and over the years it's kind of like evolved into all of these really colorful cottages. So cool. Highly recommend if you're ever in Martha's Vineyard, you have to go visit. It literally, like Christopher and I were saying, it felt like you were in a different world. So that was a lot of fun. And now we've got a couple more hours before our ferry leaves. So I am definitely feeling like some ice cream right now. So I think we are going to walk in the direction of ice cream. And honestly, everything in this town is absolutely gorgeous. All the houses, we're just walking by. They're so, so pretty. We're going to find ourselves some ice cream and then just spend some time exploring the town with our few remaining hours. I think we're going to grab some dinner too. And then I think the sun may set before our ferry ride. So maybe we can go somewhere cool to watch the sunset too. Just going to kind of walk around and enjoy this place. I'll flip you guys around right now, but just everywhere we turn, it's the quaintest houses. They're so pretty. And just, yeah, we're loving every minute of this. And Martha's Vineyard is known for its ice cream. And after trying some, I can see why. We stopped at Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium and both got two scoops of ice cream. I got coffee heath and salted caramel and it was so, so incredible. And we walked just a couple blocks away to the main square in Oak Bluffs, which is a really beautiful park with tons of amazing houses overlooking it. Then we continued wandering around and exploring. There are also a lot of really cute shops in the town, so we looked around some of those before going to Lookout Tavern for dinner. And we were both feeling like sushi, so we decided to order a couple of rolls to split. And of course, we couldn't have sushi without Christopher pretending to be a walrus. The sushi was really good though, and then after that, we had just about half an hour to kill before our ferry left. And we ended up timing it out perfectly. The sun was just setting, and so we went to the nearby pier and just walked around and enjoyed the absolutely beautiful sunset. With the combination of the houses, the clouds, and the colors, it really felt like a postcard. But then it was time to board the ferry and head back. Good morning guys, it is now Friday morning and we just checked out of our hotel, which I realized I never showed you guys the room that we were staying in. So this morning before we left, I filmed a couple of clips to share with you guys. So 
put them on the screen here, but it was a really nice, kind of small, but plenty of space for just two of us. It had kind of a subtle nautical theme. It was really nice, and it was right outside of Sandwich, so it was just a really convenient location to get to pretty much anywhere on Cape Cod. But we just checked out and are now on our way out of Cape Cod right now. And our plan for today is to spend the day in Boston walking along the Freedom Trail, which if you've never heard of it, is a trail that traces through some of the most important historical sites that were involved with the beginning of the American Revolution and American freedom, as the name would suggest. And our plan is basically just to walk along that, and it's an amazing way just to be able to see a lot of Boston in one day. And I think we're going to get some lunch at Quincy Market as well. So it's just about an hour away now, but we're going to pop on some music and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. We spent most of our day walking along the Freedom Trail and just getting to see some of the sights of the city. Along our way though, we stopped at this bakery and cafe called Tat. I was definitely feeling like a coffee and a pastry. Honestly, what am I not? But particularly at this moment, and this place had come really highly recommended. So I fueled up with some coffee and then we continued walking along the Freedom Trail, stopping at iconic places like the old State House and Finney Hall. And then one can't miss spot whenever you're in Boston is a stop for lunch at Quincy Market. It's a several hundred year old building with dozens of food vendors and of course, predictably, I got clam chowder. And then after lunch, we continued walking along the Freedom Trail. We made a few more stops at places like Paul Revere's house and Old North Church before finishing up at Bunker Hill. The Freedom Trail is really one of my favorite ways just to get a taste for the city of Boston. But then on the next day, we wrapped up our time in New England with an equally iconic experience. We took a duck tour around the city. And it's a really fun, fascinating guided tour that takes you around the city on both land and sea. And it was another beautiful day. So we had a great time seeing the city from the water and just being able to learn more about its history. Then after our tour ended, I realized we were right by the Boston Public Library, which is a place I'd always wanted to visit. So we spent some time walking through the halls of the library, as well as this old local church. Then before heading out of the city, we stopped at an amazing place called Dig for Lunch. And this little chocolate shop, which has been family owned for multiple generations. So we just wrapped up our trip with spending a couple of lovely days in Boston, but now we've come back to Marlboro, which is my childhood home. I spent about five years here growing up, literally right around the corner. And so tonight we're going to be staying with some family friends and then we have a super early flight tomorrow. I think we need to leave to catch our flight at 4 a.m. So it's definitely going to be an early morning. And so with that in mind, I think I'm going to end the video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me as we explored Cape Cod and Boston together. I know Christopher and I had such a wonderful trip and I hope you enjoyed coming along for that as well. And of course, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoy travel content like this, definitely subscribe because we're going to Greece really soon and I'll be vlogging some of that as well. And then finally, make sure you're following along on Instagram too. I'll have that linked for you in the description box, but it's a great way just to follow along kind of in the moment as things happen with all of our adventures. Thank you guys all so much for watching though. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.